Hey, Chad Tomaszewski with TSI Today. You cannot miss this show. We're at the Fortnite Cup. We've gone out of studio live at the Canadian PGA Tour um, here in Calgary. We're going to be talking about cybersecurity and how it affects your business. Join us. I'm Chad Tomaszewski, Chief Growth Officer with Triton Communications. We're talking to industry leaders about the technology that's changing their business. This is TSI Today. Hey, Chad Tomaszewski here with TSI Today, and I'm here with Hank of X10 Technologies. Hank, thanks so much for joining us. Um, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. My pleasure to join you today. Um, so my name is Hank Fordham. I'm known uh, kind of in the hacker world as Hank the Hacker. Um, I go on radio every week uh, for cybersecurity and, and different topics, but um, I, I really got into the world of cybersecurity and pen testing after I actually landed on Vice and Dr. Phil for bringing forward some vulnerabilities. And, you know, for me, it's interesting. I, I wear this crowbar and someone pointed it out today and um, they, they usually ask, like, do you wear this crowbar because you're a hacker? And <laughs> no, it's from my dad. My dad used to say, you know, one time, one day you're going to be a good hacker. And that was kind of his way of speaking on ethical hacking, becoming a career, and that I should find uh, find my way there. And, and now we're here. I'm a pen tester with X10 Technologies and uh, keeping keeping companies safe. So I really want to get back into this ethical hacking. Uh, that's very interesting to me. But before we do that, talk to us a little bit about X10 and, and what they offer. Yeah, so X10 Technologies is an all-encompassing solutions provider. We offer solutions around uh, networks, systems, and cloud systems, and uh, just while wrapping security around each of these vectors, just to make sure that security uh, and systems are kind of married when, when it's being implicated. That's fantastic. Um, cybersecurity is such a vast term. Um, there's so many different things that we can in cybersecurity. Let's unpack a couple of those a little quickly. We think of IT cybersecurity and there's OT cybersecurity. I think that's probably the macro levels. Um, talk to us a little bit about that. Can you help me unpack that a little bit? What does it mean? Yeah, and you know, I immediately I jump back to my dad explaining this to my dad and because he used to ask me the difference with IT and OT, believe it or not. Okay. And um, the easiest way I explain it to people is, you know, you have IT where it's your digital infrastructure, the office, the computers, and then you have OT, and that's the that's where things can get really scary because it involves industrial control systems, SCADA. Uh, you might have manufacturing and supply networks and uh, areas or, or buildings. Just the the risks with SCADA and ICS and OT being compromised, I think, is much higher in terms of physical security than uh, than just a network. So again, back to does everybody need cybersecurity? In my house, uh, I think of my, my home computer, of course, I've got McAfee. Um, but in, in the business world, it's so much different. So does everybody ultimately require this? Absolutely. I, I think that, you know, while everyone requires cybersecurity, and it's definitely something that I would never tell someone to not take, um, it comes in different levels. And one of the most important being awareness training. I think that if everyone were implementing awareness training into their policy around cybersecurity, then everyone would be at much more of an advantage in terms of uh, cyber threat intelligence. So gathering, you know, compromised passwords and, and where are we exposed on the internet. And, and in, in regards to OT, I immediately jumped to Shodan, where you can go on Shodan right now and list all of the exposed industrial control systems in Canada. And while it's kind of becoming less of a problem now, with the Center for Cybersecurity making warnings, it's... Yeah, I, I like the awareness component. I mean, uh, as an organization, Triton does things on a quarterly basis to create awareness for us other, and I think that's an important part uh, of securing your, your networks. I think that's something probably we should be doing more on a monthly basis. Perhaps all companies do. We can engage X10 to do that, right? X10 can help us set on a, set out a plot, uh, set out on a on a journey of sorts to securing our network. Correct? Yeah, absolutely. There's many different ways that X10 implements security into their solutions, including with smart buildings and uh, just SCADA in general. But there's also the awareness and training part of that, and phishing simulations and stuff like that. Um, 
Big Bill got uh, had his first reading in January. Bill C twenty six. I know you can't talk a whole little bit about it, a whole lot about it, um, but uh, tell us what you can, what your thoughts on, on Bill C twenty six, and where it's going to take us. Yeah, I, honestly, when I saw Bill C twenty six coming out, I, I kind of immediately thought this is a little bit. It's too like it's about time that something like this comes out and it's about time that legislation around cybersecurity starts to get developed a little bit further and while these things take a little bit of time to get massaged until they're perfect uh, i'm definitely excited to see legislation being developed in terms of respecting cybersecurity. That's great. This is the last question I have for you, and I think we'll come back around to the Bills of C26. We're gonna do a round table here in a bit. I'll mm -hmm. invite you to come back with some of our other guests. Um, but that last question is really about young people. Um, something I ask all my guests is, how do we get more young people involved in technology? Um, I'm very fond of it, of course. I've got a real passion for tech. And uh, I think you've had some experiences yourself uh, with teaching young people about technology. So what's your path and, and what do you, would you suggest we could do differently or better? I, this question to me is, I love this question. I've, so I've had a lot of experience in the past working with youth and teaching them cybersecurity, uh, even running one of the first hacker dens. And the goal there was teaching not only the legal repercussions of cybersecurity, but also uh, you know, the, the whole idea of ethical hacking itself. And so one of the projects we actually worked on with the kids and, and with the goal of gamifying cybersecurity was uh, making like little pet, uh, they're called a Ponagachi, but it's basically a copy of the Tamagotchi. And so it introduced kids to 3D printing and making a Raspberry Pi inside mm -hmm. and they would program it with a Wi-Fi hacking tool. So they would learn about Wi-Fi hacking, 3D printing and, uh, and miniature computers. So it was a really good opportunity to gamify the learning and the awareness part of, uh, of cybersecurity for youth. Well, I love that. that yeah. awesome. Hey, hey, thanks so much for joining me today. Absolutely. Um, if our guests want to get a hold of you, uh, where can they, they find you? So I'm you everywhere on the internet. Um, if you go look up Hank Fordham, you'll find me. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, pretty well. Anywhere you look online, you'll find me. Awesome. Thanks again for joining us. Cool. Have a great day. Thanks for watching TSI Today. I'm Chad Tomaszewski, Chief Growth Officer with Tridon Communications. Catch up with us next time when we learn more about technology and how it's changing business today.